Hey guys, welcome back to Walk Should Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are with 10 duplicates in the LZ Alpha. We have been surviving for 213 cycles and last time we spent almost all our energies working on a way of cooling down this salt water so we could have almost an infinite water supply from the salt water. Guys are over here. Whilst doing all that, we also came over to this area where we're having massive overheating problems from the natural gas geyser that we have here. And this has meant that we have taken all of the gas generation processes out over this side. But this has led to an issue that I did not foresee. It turns out that during the time of doing all of that, we have slowly but surely been running out of coal. So I now need to go around and find places to mine some coal from. I've seen some tiny little areas down here, stuff like this, which you know will get us through a couple of days, but honestly, it's not gonna see us through the massive times we have ahead of us. So we need to try and figure out a much better way of doing that. Now, normally I would just be like, okay, great, we'll use the hatches. All the hatches are dead. I don't know what happened. I literally have no idea what happened. I'm just gonna quickly uh, mop that up as well as we appear to be inundated with water right now, but it's all clean water, so it does not matter that much so today is going to be trying to find ourselves a couple of hatches that that would be very good trying to put the generator rooms back up and running again and uh yeah try it try and not die during the course of all of that we have some printing prods let's see what we've got here no hatches pinch of peppers though no no i'm gonna get the omelets if we could get if we could get some hatches there i'd be a very happy boy so Miss Lion's come along and done a lot of the digging and then we have got Forrest up here coming and delivering the coal to the generators. That's cool. Over this side, I have started clearing out areas or at least I have asked them to start clearing out areas over here so that we can start thinking about how we are going to get the generators actually in here. We used to have four packed in around a central uh, central ladder in the middle. I don't think we're going to do that anymore. I think we're going to have a ladder going up this side and then we're going to have one here and maybe one all the way over here. Separate them out. Big wall in between collection point underneath as we had last time the reason that i want the big wall in between is because of course if i come over here to the room overlay they, i keep getting more things added onto the end uh you can see that one of the things is the power plant and it's got a maximum size of 96 tiles so i need to try and keep under that for the rooms Okay, we have all generators up and running again. That's working pretty well. Still a little bit worried about the fact that we are running out of the actual slicksters that we want here. Let's go back down. Let's have a look. We still got this chance of getting a long-haired um, lava very, very high. And these guys, they must be starving by now. Let's have a look. Yeah, so um, I'm expecting I'm expecting some bad things to happen there at some point. But all the cooling is starting to kick in again. We've got ourselves oxygen flowing. And we are slowly but surely clearing this area over here already for the generators. We've had a rather boring cycle passing. All we've done is really clear out the area over here, start laying down the individual areas for the gas uh, generators, put down the pump underneath, and I've started making a nice little filtration system underneath to make sure that we only get natural gas geysers going up. That's Sorry, natural gas, not natural gas geysers going up there. Another thing that we want to do is to try and get this gas sh shut-off valve. This brings in cool uh, cool gases from over in the, uh, the the chill box over here. Where about have we got it out down there? Uh, this brings cool Cool gases along uh, and we get to split them in either direction dependent on the temperature so i want to have temperature sensors up in the uh, top corners of both of these going to uh, shut off valves in the rooms or uh, shut off valves for the rooms and also an or gate down to this one so we've got a little bit of an issue right now where we're waiting for iron to be delivered and the only source of iron we really have is this uh, iron volcano down here that somehow is being self-cooled from all of this I'm I'm okay with that. It's slowly going to balance out all the temperatures. Uh, we've got green here and it's blue everywhere else. Orange, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be fine. It's going to work out. But as I was saying, we've got a whole bunch of iron lead on the floor there. Uh, and we're having to wait for people to go through all this lot to pick up the iron to come back and then go down through there. And there's lots of places where that can fail. So I think what I'm going to go and do is put down a storage bin right here. And we're going to make this metals only if and when it gets done. Okay, my man Shroudkus has done the storage bin. I want to come through here. I want to find refined... Uh, we'll take both, actually. Actually, no. Refined metal. I was going to say other space age materials as well. But no, we'll, we'll just go with that and uh, give it a high priority and see how much of the stuff comes inside. 
So I've got a great deal of the blueprint laid out here. Let's just talk through the system. As I say, the gas pump picks up the uh, the natural gas. It goes through this filtration system. It comes up through this pipe here, where it is met by the uh, waste natural gas line that we have here. You can see this one is going to come along. It's going to come through this gas filter, and the natural gas is going to come down. And I'm using uh, this gas bridge here as like a one-way valve, a diode, if you will. It can go this way and add to the system, but no backflow can occur. This then gets split amongst the four machines that we are going to have. We're waiting just for, finally for people to come along and dig this stuff up. I have the four machines where the carbon dioxide will be dumped down below, uh, carbon dioxide and polluted water. Uh, we will probably deal, let's try and grab the stuff that I want right now. We'll have a carbon skimmer up here somewhere, probably on some form of mesh tile like so. And then underneath we will have a liquid pipe. I'm going to actually put it all the way down there and we'll let all the liquid liquids drop down into this hole and to make that happen a little bit better we might put a little bit of a slope in we'll see how it goes I think actually what I want to do is insulate not insulate any tile any tile doesn't matter what tile uh, but we're going to put a tile across the bottom here uh, an extra one here to stop it all sloshing out and coming back uh, and then more ladders down there right beautiful beautiful so far the only thing that's made it into the refined metals bin is aluminium not not amazing to be honest you always know you're doing well on the build when the printables are ready again. Obviously, we've been taking far too long on this. Okay, let's see what we got. Pip egg, pip squeak. N neither of these are actually what I'm after. Let's just get a pip squeak. It can run around our base, do some stuff. I don't think he can actually escape from this area that him and the puff are, ha are hanging out in. Are you just, you're just standing there, buddy? I mean, you are very cute. Let's see what you need to survive. Harbor trees and a uh, comfortable living range. Well, we don't have any arbor trees, so good luck finding them, buddy. Another day, and it kind of feels like all we got was this ladder done, but actually we got all this pipe up here. We got some deliveries done to the power system coming in here. Uh, we got a few things cleared out, and yeah, yeah, but, but basically we've done pretty well, but man, not well enough. Got this layer in place. Also, look at all this coal here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are definitely developing a bit of an issue as far as this side of the base is concerned. You can see that we are getting a whole a bunch of oxygen coming into the base, but it's only really enough to uh, power these exosuits over this side. We're not really getting any that flows through. Um, I, I was kind of thinking that at some point we would max out, but actually it's taking just a little bit too long. And what does get through is just a trickle. For the sake of the mission, I'm going to have to disable this at this checkpoint. Only one person can get through at a time right now, and that is just not good enough. Where, where have you gone, Cubic? You were the person coming through here. I thought you were coming down to this, but no. Oh, there you are. Hi, how are you doing? Yeah, you are. What are you doing? Life support. You're here to You're here to grab rust. Okay, fair enough. Whatever. Mr. Lung coming in for the badassery, holding her breath and cutting down all the coal where it stands. We do, of course, need to get that coal back in and through the base. I'm starting to think maybe we have a little bit of a, an issue when it comes to having the uh, the asteroid split up into two sections. Maybe what we, as I've been saying for a little while now, actually, maybe what we need to do is move the duplicates over to the left hand side here and then we can have all of their stuff over here and then we, they just kind of like spill out into the base into the asteroid sorry i've just, I've just realized what forrest is here to do and i don't think it's gonna work but let's, let's watch him let's figure out exactly how bad this is gonna be the first thing he's gonna do is submerge himself in water he's then gonna walk into a room that somehow is a lot warmer than the rest of the area but it's a bit of a comfortable like 20 degrees 20 degrees is pretty nice but i've got a feeling there's there's going to be some breath holding that is really pushed to its limits here i keep selecting the wrong thing there we go uh chilly surroundings soppy wet holding breath let's have a look where is your breath we're at 78 percent right now and dropping quite fast but we get we're getting work done we're getting work done i don't know if it's going to even like register a single percentage oh that now he's done he's out he's like no nah, that's it i am done here and, and i don't blame you forest and i don't blame you Good to see Shroudicus outside the base, even if he is having to hold his breath to do so. Just wading through methane. Ugh. Oh, why are you guys coming in here? Don't, don't do this. Not only is it super high pressure, but also... No, just no. Just no. Just, just, let's just close all that down and stop people going that way. Oh, man. It's the polluted oxygen. That's what they're after. It's oxygen, so they're like, I can breathe that. 
I've come over here to uh, to begin the pre-morning of the loss of these guys. And if you're wondering why I'm just letting them die, it's because we can't wrangle them. You see down here, no wrangle button. And we don't have the, uh, the plastic production set up at the moment to be able to just, like, knock out some critter traps and pick them up. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're, we're kind of entirely dependent on this guy dropping something other than this. Ah. Oh, Frank, I, I love the job you're doing, but, man, this, this is not very safe for you, is it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Is that actually truly an unreachable build? We're going to have to deconstruct that and hope that people can get down and underneath. Mm, thanks for pointing that out to me, Frank. Thanks. Once the duplicates get on and fix all of the uh, natural gas generator over here, I've noticed that we have a little bit of a problem down here. We are producing too much hydrogen for the system, and this is because we're not getting enough blowing through here. Now, we've set this up to a very low number because we wanted to make sure that it wouldn't eat all of the hydrogen in one go. But I think we're going to be able to do something a little bit different. If I come down into the ventilation, we go for the gas element sensor. I'm going to pop that one right on there. <coughs> Uh, then when this is able to detect what uh, what is in the gas pipe, I'm going to say, hey, if you're detecting hydrogen going through there, open up the gas valve here. Now, most of the time, if the pipes are empty and we detect hydrogen over here, that just means that this uh, this turns on and there's no problem. But if it's the fact that we've backed up all the way down here, this will open up, let everything flow down uh, and clear this pipe out, which I think is what we want to do to stop to stop this backing up, that is definitely an issue there. Also, we're ending up with this in a lot of places. You can see how we got very thin, um, very thin amounts of waste gas just kind of hanging about. I'm not sure if there's anything I can do about that. I mean, ideally, I'd like a few of these pumps to turn on and move stuff around. But without that happening, I don't know. All right, look, we need to come over here. We need to deconstruct this gas valve of the highest possible prejudice. Uh, and I'll be back when I can add some... Oh, I suppose also whilst we're here, we should be able to, like, run the automation wire down this way up here. Well, first time ever, legitimately ever, needing myself a wire bridge. An automation wire bridge. I've, I've used wire bridge. Oh, great. Ah, uh, ah, uh, none of the building got done, but they did come and take the valve out. So, uh, yay. Good, good work, guys. Good work. Let's just make the bad situation worse, shall we? <laughs> okay, we're finally moving iron into this storage bin as well. That's pretty good, but we've got a printing pod ready to go. All right, cool. What do we got? Blossom seeds? I mean, I'll grab them, but they're not particularly what I'm after. Just, just waiting on those hatch, you know? Oh, 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 I've got an opportunity to not kill all my long-haired, um, long-haired long slicks here. But I'm going to have to see whether I can do something. Like, so important that I've paused the game. I'm going to go to the food. We're going to come down to the incubator. I'm going to pop one of these in this pre-made little... Where's my incubator gone? Uh, why? What? Why won't it let me... <laughs> that's crazy. I'm not sure. I'm just going to put that there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, that, that, that's a bug. Uh, but yeah, we're going to put that there. We're going to find a little power system for it like this. And then we're going to put this at the super highest priority. We will actually, when it actually comes around to being daytime, do the alert abuse to start moving some of these long-haired eggs upstairs into the oxygen field environment, which is where they want to live. Uh, and then hopefully we can keep them alive without them, you know, falling over and dying. Uh, and, oh, maybe we want to move this gas vent into here to keep them alive because this this needs to be an oxygenated environment. And we can come down through here. Okay, is that is that morning? Oh, wait, wait for the uh, the quick save to go down. So what I'm actually going to do is go, um, yeah, someone. Someone come over here. Misaligned straight on it. Beautiful, beautiful. Also, how are we going to let some of this oxygen out? I, I think, actually, that should be a top priority. I'm, I'm even tempted just to do this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that might work. It might work. Whilst we're doing that, I'm de going to deconstruct all of that. I I'm, I'm thinking this will work because this will overpressurize in here, and then it will be all good, right? All, go all, all done. That's that's the hope, anyway. Oh, technically very close to having the uh, first gas generator up here ready to go. As you can see, we've got the gas flowing in. We're going to have the carbon dioxide flowing out. Uh, and I think that's the thing we need here. Oh, and of course, the polluted water will just drop down underneath into this pump over here. Now, I'm trying to think about how I'm going to deal with the water. And if we have a look, we've got a lot of pipes that I'm going to be uh, knocking down. But over here, we have more water systems. So I think I might actually just pull this over this way. You know what? Let's cancel this deconstruct. I'm going to I'm going to allow them to take it all the way down to there because I then want to drop this down here. And we're looking for the inn. That's right there. OK, so let, let's let's just do that quickly now. I'm literally never sure whether I want these to be insulated pipes or what, but we're just going to go with it like that. 
Oh, I might be wrong, but I think they're finally coming down here to start to install some of the things that I want. Ah, oh, that, that's great. That's great. It's going to take forever, though. How are we doing over this way? We're still in the state of being very close to being done, but unfortunately still not actually done. The pipe work is definitely getting laid in. Uh, the water work is definitely getting laid in. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the polluted water. Obviously, we're going to take it out and we're going to bring it over this way and come up and across. Uh, some of it, I think, is going to get sieved, sent up this way, and then the rest is going to come over here into these pinch peppers which obviously i want to fill up uh, completely uh we'll just pump this into into this line somewhere i'm not sure how we're going to do that also this one over here is starting to uh to overflow it's good that it's not actually like full-on overflow look at all the polluted oxygen we must be making look at that uh, a decent amount of slime by now must be beautiful i wonder if i want to want to groom them right Let's try it. I'm gonna try it. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Down here, we should have a. Oh, there, it's not. It's not part of the food, is it? It's stations. I really kind of wish that they would put the farm station, oh, the grooming station, sorry, with the the rest of the animal stuff. Ah, oh, would be much better over there. But then people would have gone down. You know what? Actually, no. Let's do that. Let's cancel that build, and we'll just leave it over here. The reason that it would be better over here is because when they walk in from the side, they're like right there, right? They're, they're already right there. Well, some of the wire got put in place. <laughs> Look how Pipsqueak has made it down a level. Is he just? trapped in this area i think he might be do you reckon we could grow some arbor trees up here i'm not sure whether we can or not but i'm gonna try it i'm gonna start with a planter box on this side and maybe a plant uh, a, a farm tile sorry on this side just see which one they will get in fact can i come in here uh not without actually uprooting them do i have any kicking about that i can just test with i don't think i do all right well we'll put a high priority on that and wait and see for when it gets built is, is that it? Is that that? That is it. We are now producing uh, an overabundance of um, carbon, an overabundance of polluted water, but we are now making power, and that should hopefully fill these up. Oh, that is beautiful, beautiful. I definitely want to get that one fixed at some point. Thanks. Okay, so whilst we've been messing around with all these other things, this incubator has been coming along and getting built, and I'm just going to come along to here and go, yeah, can we, can we have them up here, please? I think they do well up here. Thanks. Uh, also, let's go ahead and uh, just pump that up a little bit. Okay, we are very close to getting this all done. Mr. Lion's been down here doing the work. And what we're trying to look for in here is, of course, Hydrogen. So it should now send a, uh, a, a, a what's it signal? A green signal? No, because actually the problem that we had has solved itself. But there we go. It, it, it's a little little fail, self, fail safe system that should only let gas through when there's some backing up over here. I wonder if that's actually going to happen now. It'd be interesting to see if that is the situation. Because of course, when we cut off this line over here, it would have actually all tried to drain here because this would have been the out in the system, like the downhill, if you will. But you can see now that it's starting to back up again. Oh, uh, yeah, no, it, it, it's working all right. It's working all right. This has not been turned on, though. Why not? It's got no power, and then it's also saying it's got no um, automation line going into it. Totally didn't pause for a full, like, three seconds there or something. <laughs> okay, uh, let's come down to automation, automation wire. Look at that, we're one short. Ah. All right, the cypher's just coming along and put one of the long-haired uh, lava eggs in the incubator. This is beautiful, wonderful, and it turns out the gas vent is doing exactly what I hoped it would do. Here's dumped all its gases out here until it couldn't dump it anymore. I don't like that. All right, okay, fine. We're going to have to uh, deconstruct that at a much higher priority than that. Here comes Forrest to go and do the work for me. And we're going to go put a gas vent up there instead and connect it together like so. That should hopefully... Ooh, hopefully correct all the massive errors that I have literally just made. It's, it's not massive errors, but it's pretty big errors because we just stopped all the oxygen flow going through to the base. And that, that was not my intention. I'm not sure if you could tell or not, but it really wasn't. <laughs> Okay, Mad Frank coming along to fix the errors there. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see what's going on. And it's it's still not doing what I thought it would do. Okay, maybe we're going to have to think about this in another way then. Uh, also, now the gas valve works. That's beautiful. So we should be able to let some through as long as there is some backup happening. The moment we run out, that shuts off and all we do is start dumping into that. All right, beautiful. Oh, the call of downtime has just told me that we can go look at this planter box here. And can we plant an arbor tree? Yep, there we go. Okay, we can plant those in that. Oh, no, what do we need? Uh, it says down here, far oh, no, this plant was pl planted in a harbor. Ah, it's too big. It's too big. Okay, that's fine. Uh, how about over here? Can we uh, make this happen quicker? Maybe we're too close to this thing here. Maybe that's the problem. Let's let's try that, actually. We'll uh, deconstruct this, and we'll cancel this one, and we'll just keep moving these around until eventually we figure out what's going on. 
Hmm, as we've got this transformer hooked up to this entire system, I'm kind of feeling like we don't need any of this over here. Maybe the algae deoxygenator, but even then, I don't really feel like we need that. So let's just get rid of all of that. What I'm actually trying to do is move this egg cracker and these uh, storage bins up into the kitchen over here because I feel like they're, uh, they're made for each other, you know? So with the majority of the pieces in place for this, I feel like for the, 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 the generators here, I feel like it's time to start thinking about where our radiant pipes are going to go so that we can figure out how to chill this entire place down. Because it's very, very important that people stay chill, or more importantly, that this area stay chill. Okay, I'm also going to bring this insulated line down here. I think we're just going to go underneath here and up into this like there. Okay, that should... Oh, and of course, the, the next bit we need to do is move fire wire bri uh, pump bridge, uh, gas bridge, this down here and get the insulated pipe running across and down. And that should hopefully make everything work for us. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, gas burners on the go, I've started putting in a few more not oxygen sensors around because, you know, look at all this gas here. We want to try and deal with that. I'm probably going to end up having to move this one down a little, maybe even into this space here. I mean, that would be quite good. It would put the power right there and stuff. But over this way, we are pretty much done on the entire cooling loop. It doesn't look like it's being triggered, though. That's because we're quite cool at the moment. Uh, so if above 50 degrees, uh, it will give us a trigger. But do we actually want to put that if above 49? Because that's, that's like then if it hits 50, hey, start cooling down. Yeah, I, I gotta remember that that is a thing. So that we then look, start pulling all the hydrogen through here. But I'm not sure exactly how much work it's actually gonna be doing cooling down the environment here. Not only is the natural gas a pretty poor uh, conductor, in fact, I would say it's a pretty strong insulator. Um, I've been looking over here at the salt water, and these have been going for some strong times, and all we've done is lost, I don't know, maybe a degree? That's over like 20, 20 cycles, something like that. So I'm not, I'm not even sure if this is a good way of cooling things down or not. Oh, the next thing I wanted to say was these systems are in place. You can see we've got the uh, water flowing from the left. The, uh, the waste systems are in place. Uh, the, carbon uh, the carbon dioxide scrubber scrubs out into polluted water, and this just picks up polluted water. We send half of it to the sieve, and the other half is going to be going all the way over here, all the way over here, into this polluted water line, which, as I said, have co has come up to these. But I'm a little bit worried that if we just start pouring water in here, we're going to overfill it for this carbon scrubber. Now, I'm not particularly bothered about this one carbon scrubber here, but that does mean if we ever have more of a polluted oxygen line coming down here, as we did have for this over this way, if that actually becomes a thing uh, and this all starts backing up, it might be a little bit awkward. But, you know, uh, we'll, we'll just trust in the power of the uh, of the, 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 the simulation here, the, the mixing system. I don't know what we call it, but the way, the way that the items go back and forth and split at the corners and stuff like that. Yeah, that thing. All right, a bit of, bit of air scrubbing going on here. Beautiful, love it. <laughs> uh, all of this and it's gone dormant. Now, thankfully, the activity cycle is quite quick, but wow. <laughs> I suppose it's good in a way. It means that we can get all the systems in place, getting these uh, getting these water pipes in place before the whole thing fires back up and we actually put it under a real stress test. It'd be nice to get this other side into place as well because that also could really do with uh, with working. Oh, look, I thought I'd actually figured this all out. Turns out we might need to build these and lower these down even another one because, as you can see, the water drops down exactly in line with the, uh, with the little outlet there uh, and that would put it on the corner of this one so yeah we're gonna have to uh, deconstruct deconstruct these bits as well i mean it is already pretty much getting stress tested with like this full amount of uh of, of natural gas going through well the cooling loop must have done something because it's cooler here oh hey they're gonna give us a little slickster that's nice because then we can put that down in the no not not here no uh somewhere where are you hey it's there. It's saying it's not a thing, though. I disagree, because... Oh, no, it's an actual... Oh, no. Oh, you're going to die. Oh, he's so cute. How do, I, how, do, how do we do this? We need to get some plastics together. That's what we really need to do. How about if we drop him on the floor down here? That would be great, right? There's loads of carbon dioxide. Oh, then we get loads of um, oil down here, and I'm not sure that I'm so up for that. Okay, so this should now be continuous water removal from here. Water and carbon dioxide 
Plus, we get to add some more water to the system, uh, the, the drinking system over here, so that's pretty tasty as well. Plus, this comes over and now feeds our pincher peppers really well. Though, uh, the fact that this has still got pincher pepper, go uh, water, polluted water going into the pincher peppers kind of worries me a little bit. So, let's expand the system. How, how could that not be a great way of doing it? These things need three tiles, don't they? So, let's just go do and um, like that. And then when people build these up, we should be able to make use of all the blue water that we've got coming out of here. What's, what's going on over here? What's in the system that shouldn't be? Look fine what's happened why why is things needing to be repaired just the gas pipe i don't know what what's happened though this is get hydrogen something other than hydrogen's getting into the system i i don't think so hmm that's got me very worried it's more the fact that i don't know what's gone wrong that's got me worried Okay, working theory, someone has walked in here, done a breath over the top of the pump, and then a bit of carbon dioxide has gone through. Uh, maybe chlorine as the gas pipe froze, because that, that does happen here. Okay, with the risk of causing more of the issue, I'm just going to send people in to completely clear this out. Look, yeah, there's chlorine down the bottom here. Mm. Oh no! Oh no! What? What? Oh, oh, we're starting to lose them. We're starting to lose them. So with the success of the cooling system, I'm like, okay, how low do we want to take that? Let's see how well that works. <laughs> this is where we could have some troubles with losing hydrogen. I, I hope we're going to be okay. It's coming out about zero degrees. I'm worried that that's... Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I'm worried that this is going to get overwhelmed, but we'll find out. We'll find out. My current line of thinking is the closer we keep this to like freezing or whatever, the less heat gets transferred down to the uh, down to the cold room. It's just going to have a bit of a, a latency catching up with it, right? Also, the not oxygen filter already doing a hell of a job clearing this out. Look at this, like two tiles of clear space above it now. Definitely need to move. Like maybe maybe dig this out and move it down here. <laughs> I thought I was doing far too well. Can't have uh, can't have one one build without putting one pipe down the wrong way. This carbon dioxide from here wants to jump over and go into this pipe. <laughs> now we really need to move him. It's too just too cold. Just too cold over here. Just received some wrong element damage. Look, there it is. There it is. Hmm. Okay, we're going to take these gas pipes out, and then more important than that, what we need to do is try and put a gas filter in, like, right now. Very, very important. Who, who's around? Subs, why, why aren't... That's not subs, sorry. That is shrouded because... Why, why aren't you also getting involved? Yeah, Mad Frank, you, you should definitely run. Yeah, everybody, anybody and everybody who is close needs to come and, and, and cut this... Cut this wire right now before before this stuff gets down there. Oh my gosh! Come on, guys, go go go! Where are you? Okay, here's someone coming down. Uh, it's it's Shrouticus himself, the man, the hero. Will he get down there in time, though? I'm really hoping so. Where is that carbon dioxide even coming from? Uh, okay, there we go. Phew. My plan, of course, is more filtration. What what else would it be? <laughs> Now, some of you might be asking, hey, Twitchy, why have you put two hydrogen filters in a row? Surely this is just going to slow the system down. You could just put it through the first one. Well, if we watch this carbon dioxide come through, you can see that it's interrupting the flow of the gases that come from this direction, just so we can pass stuff through. Could you imagine if that was happening for every single packet that came in the hydrogen? It's the same reason that we've got an extra oxygen filter up here. It just frees up the system so that it can keep the oxygen flowing. And let's be, let's be honest, that, like this oxygen flow is totally what is it's all about what is this now very much not getting its stuff delivered we'll, we'll have to try and figure out what's going on there. wow this is this is actually really been doing quite the job on the cooling i i i'm impressed i am impressed really not so impressed when it comes to chilling salt water though Okay, all right, that's fine. But what I'm actually here for, can we plant these? We can. Is it too close together? No. All right, we can keep him. We can keep him alive. Okay, that's that's good for one and him as well. You're still, you're probably dead, mate. I'm sorry. I, I'm not. I'm not. I wasn't ready to deal with you. It's the same reason that these guys keep dying. I'm just not ready for moving them. 
Hmm, another printable. I wonder which poor creature we're gonna bring into the world just to die today. Arbor acorns, whatever. Mate, you can eat these. Here, dude, do you wanna go eat that? Oh, hey there. Welcome fresh into the world. How are you doing there? I hope you're having a good time. You should survive a lot better than your other friend will. I've even just seen down here, look, capture method, trapped. I wonder if this has capture method, wrangling and traps, okay. Oh, I, uh, I solved my stagnant gas issue. It was, of course, a gas bridge issue. I, I put them both going down where I needed one down and one up. And just like that, second generator room done. I also want to see what happens when this slowly starts to run out of being the main source of pressure in this system. Are these gases down here going to make it up and across and down across the other side? I don't know. I would like to know, though, but it's going to take a little bit of time because the, all these are full are fed into this way. Good to see that the entire gas system is doing its job properly, though. I wonder how this got turned off, given how uh, low importance it is with everything. Mm, it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see the feedback on that very much. Okay, that guy's doing okay. How are we doing down here? Uh, I would still like this guy to come up here. I wonder... Oh, oh, that's, that's why. It's because we've already done one. All right, beautiful. When we get traps up and running, we might even move a few of these into the base because they have a habit of spreading good morale, uh, good decor, wherever they go. Oh, a bunch of ice has made it back into this box. That'll be interesting at some point. I'm not sure what number it needs to get down to for this to actually be true, but we're getting very close to pulling a vacuum in here. I ideally want to watch it actually turn all grey, but whilst we're talking about it, what's going on down here? Where is the gas actually going? So some is getting delivered, but it's nowhere near enough. Let's have a look down here. Uh, so we're getting like a little bit 0.5 of a gram give or take every time that it gets a little bit going in there i, I really want to watch it all just like pull a per perfect vacuum go through all of this though because i mean how how low do you reckon it's gonna have to go so there's a bit of a pattern going on here so it'll flood out to uh, to a vacuum then all of this will come across and it'll all pile up into this one tile up in the top corner here where it slowly slowly becomes nothing as it all gets pumped away you can see one microgram there bam and it's all gone and then it fills back up again so i wonder how long that's going to take to percolate its way all the way through well, it definitely took more than one night. So with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where we're going to finally get around to working on the output from this place down here. Hopefully before we kill all our slicksters. Uh, we're going to see whether the cooling system can actually hold up. And whilst we're here, let's have a quick uh, temperature. It's not, it's not moved at all. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.